Right, what is going on guys? JJ Richards here and welcome back to another YouTube video. Yeah, we make them all So, welcome guys to episode 22 of the UK Gym Tour. So I'm in the van at the moment because it's like typical British weather. It is raining outside, so I thought I'd intro this video in the van. So today we are in Gloucestershire and we are visiting the Dark Side Gym. So this is actually my good friend Adrian's gym. I have been here a couple of times before. One time was before it opened. The second time was about six weeks ago when I was actually camping around the corner. However, since then, he's got a load of new bits of equipment in. And today is an open day, so I thought it'd be a great opportunity to come down, socialize, meet some new friends, see some existing friends, and get a video in. So I'm super excited to check out the new bits of kit. It's a little bit of a different layout to what we've seen before. So I'm excited to go in there and see what he's done with the place. But as always, guys, Make sure before we get into the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are one of these weird people that watch my videos, but you haven't subscribed, like, that deeply hurts me, guys. That actually offends me. So, do me a big favour, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Right, let's go in there, guys. Let's have a cracking day. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this gym review video. <laughs> So before we actually get talking about today's training session, please show some appreciation for this angle right here. Now, if this angle of my derriere does not deserve a like on this video, I really do not know what else to do. So first exercise we did was a single leg hamstring curl. Now you don't often see these hamstring curls in many gyms. So when I use them, I absolutely love the contraction you get. And what I try and do is I actually try and push my hips back a little bit, drive the quad into the knee pad to solely isolate the hamstring. And if you do it like that, then you can't use any momentum through the hips whatsoever. And as you can see, the load is very light, but the pump and the contraction you get on this piece of kit is absolutely insane. So, Moving on to the second exercise, so again, always start off with two hamstring focused movements because my emphasis this off season is to bring up the hamstring. So it's always best to start on them whilst you're fresh. And again, this lying piece of hamstring curl, really old school bit of kit, but the old stuff works way better. It's really smooth. You get a really nice contraction on hamstrings, perfect positioning of the hips. And on both of these exercises, we did four sets of 12 to 15 reps so that was the hamstrings absolutely fried so then we moved on to some leg extensions just to warm the quads up so again this is the same brand as the lion hamstring curl and we did exactly the same in terms of four sets of 12 to 15 reps just to get the legs nice and primed and ready before we move into the compound exercises so 
Squats are not in my program. However, I was kind of getting off on the atmosphere of this gym and I wanted to lift some heavy ass weights. And I haven't actually squatted for about three to four months. So I wanted to kind of see where my strength was at. So what we did here, so this was 180 kilograms and we just worked up to six and I actually felt pretty comfortable. Ego came to the door and said, hi JJ, here's your ego. Let's throw another plate on the bar. So we did. So we got 220 and as you can see, it actually moved pretty comfortably. Hips, quads, knees, all felt really, really good. So I always say on those days where you feel good, just go for it. And we managed to get a good five reps thanks to Deck. As you can see, he came over to be my spotter. And that's a good thing about gyms like this. I didn't need to ask. He just saw what I was doing and came over and offered me some guidance. So massive respect to Deck for helping me here. So next quad compound, we moved on to some hack squats. Again, this is a really, really nice smooth hack squat as well. Like all the bits of kit that I use in this gym were absolutely phenomenal. And that's because again, they've been handpicked by the owner, tried and tested by somebody that actually lifts weights. I might actually do one of those um, videos to get that Joey Swall's attention of complaining about people walking in front of the camera. I really don't care about people walking in front of the camera. My camera is in their way. They are not in the camera's way because at the end of the day, you should be trading, not recording. But I try and do both. So this angle actually kind of makes me look like I have a pair of calves. And I don't normally record the calf training exercises. However, for today's purpose, I thought I would. So again, what we did here, four sets of 12 to 15 on the seated. And then we moved on to the standing. Again, we did four sets of 12 to 15. And calves has always been one of those muscle groups that I've really struggled to develop. And by training them with more frequency, with more intensity, combination of high weight and low weight, basically just doing at front, basically just throwing a little shit at the wall and hoping something sticks, or in this case, hoping I grow some calves. And the results aren't too shabby. Right then, guys, so Darkside Gym Gloucester. Firstly, what an epic session that was. And I literally, like I said, I haven't done squats in such a long time. To finally get under a heavy barbell again was just, oh, love it. Like I was having a chat with someone in the gym, like belt squats, yes, okay. If you can't load your spine, use a belt squat. Pendulum squats, okay, yeah, fine. But why not just squat? Like everyone these days is trying to find an easier way of performing a squat by using a machine, but nothing beats putting a heavy barbell on your back, walking back off a rack, being a little bit nervous, and sitting down and standing up as many times as possible. That is just one of the greatest feelings in the world. So stop trying to find easy ways of doing it. Listen to Tom Platts, he would say the same. Right, so gym review time. So firstly, great gym. I've been there before. They had a few new bits of kit that I haven't seen in there before and massively impressed. I know from talking to Adrian, there's still a few bits of kit that he's trying to get to put in there. Don't know where he's going to put them though because it is quite tight in there already, but that's the thing. When you've got someone that's passionate about bodybuilding, you know, they want to put the best equipment in there and try and get as much in there as possible so you've got a good variety of kit to use. And it's kind of, it's kind of that I would put it in that kind of like mid-range in terms of size and what I like about those gyms is they've got multiple bits of equipment for each muscle group so it's not like where you're training in those small gyms where you might only have like one or two pieces of equipment for like chest or back they've got multiple different options so you know to add variety into your workouts or adding new movements into a workout plan it's perfect for that reason i just wish i lived a little bit closer so i could use that gym all the time so in terms of like equipment great and again when you've got gyms that are actually run by people that know what they're doing they actually train themselves they hand pick the best equipment that they like using because they know that everyone else is going to like using it because they know what they're talking about so that is absolutely epic also in terms of like the artwork and stuff like that i knew that they would go above and beyond with that because his last gym the artwork was crazy and if you haven't seen i did a gym review of their last gym which was max body's gym 
And again, the artwork in there is phenomenal. So I do like the artwork in there because it's something a little bit different that you don't see in other gyms. And it's also on brand as well and um, with the Alpha Supplement Company as well. So it all looks super cool. All that the signage at the top as well looks really cool. That wasn't there last time I went there. And also the posing room as well. Like just to have these little extra added value bits in, like posing rooms, proper lighting. They had the back mirror so you can see your back. Like... They've done that solely for the benefit of bodybuilders, so you can go in there and properly analyze your physique and take your checking pictures and checking videos, or go in there with your coach. So there's things that like the gyms don't have to do, because it's no real added value in terms of driving extra revenue for the gym, but it's just an added benefit of being a member or using that gym that you've got access to that kind of stuff. So again, that is absolutely great. I love the fact they've got like a really nice, big size, like. It's kind of almost like your living room, really. So it's really nice. Everyone sat there, chilled. They've got a sofa there. You can sit there, have your post-workout meal, have a chat. And it brings that friendly vibe that you don't really get in like the, the commercial gyms. So it's nice that you can sit there and chat to people. It's a really good community, really good social aspects in there. There's plenty of parking out the front as well. It's 24 hours, like great value for money. So overall, absolutely epic gym. Absolutely loved it. And I will definitely be back there for a few more sessions. So, guys, I'm going to come to the end of this gym review video. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please do. I would appreciate it. The more you guys buy into the channel, the more likes, comments, and definitely the subscriptions absolutely benefits the channel. And also, guys, if there's any gyms that you'd recommend for me to go and check out that you want me to do a review of, please drop it in the comments below because I always like to hear of your guys' opinions. And sometimes there's gyms out there that you don't really know about. Google won't show them. So if you guys know of any little, like, secretive gyms out there that are absolutely epic, let me know. But, guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye, God bless, peace.